Hey guys, today we are opening the May 2019 Keto Crate. Like, the year's basically over. It's already May. <laughs> uh, but let's get into this month's crate. The first thing I'm gonna say is like, this thing packs some weight. Like, this is definitely like the heaviest crate I've received this far. Like, you hand it to me? Oh, whoa, wait a minute. Like, so I'm very excited to see what's in here. Open it up. Ooh, already on top, I see some fat snacks, but I'm going to move those out of the way so that I can decline my invitation to the crate club party as much as I want to join. All right, let's get into these fat snacks. So I have some fat snacks, double chocolate chip cookies. I've had fat snacks before. I kind of think that the thing is with all of these packaged cookies, in my opinion, they all taste the same. They taste like almond flour and erythritol, like that's it. So I do like the chocolate versions of these cookies better because at least you get a stronger flavor. But anytime you have just a regular chocolate chip or anything like that, even like a lemon or some other flavor, I get almond flour, I get erythritol. So. I am excited about these. I have tried them and I, I haven't tried this flavor yet, but I do know that I like this, so I'm excited. Next, we have some Pazoots. So these are just packaged peanuts, flavor infused premium Virginia artisan peanuts, sea salt and cracked black pepper. Um, I really don't think you could go wrong with just regular salt and pepper nuts for one container. It is, oh gosh, there are decimals in the nutrition label. I just flipping hate that. Um, okay, 7.25 minus, we're gonna go with three. So that's 4.25 net carbs. Like I'm rounding, okay? What are we, scientists? No, I'm rounding. Oh, another dang bar. Now I will say that I have tried the, the lemon dang bar that came in another keto crate and I didn't finish it. Like I did not like it at all. So maybe here's to hoping that I will like the cardamom chai dang bar a little better. I mean, I wanna like it, I just don't. Let's see. All I'm caring about are pretty much carbs at this point. Has 11 total carbs, has six fiber, so that's five net. Where are the, are there any sugar alcohol? Jeez Louise, is this five net carbs for this bar? Jeez. Yeah, five net carbs. Okay, dang, well, we will give this a go and see how I like this. Oh, we got a Stoka bar. I am stoked because I love Stoka bars. That joke has been said way too many times and it is never enough times. Here's the Stoka bar. This is the cocoa almond kind. I will say that I like the vanilla almond kind better, but like this is right behind it. This is by no means nasty. If I love that at 100, I like this at 98. I mean, they're pretty much great. Um, four grams of net carbs excellent ingredients basically just almonds and a whole bunch of stuff that you can read you're just not taking the time to put together yourself i love stoker bars this is a win keto no ketogenics keto meal ketone meal replacement uh i'm not really a big fan of making shakes and whatnot uh but you know there's nothing wrong with it definitely good on the go let's see one packet per container eight grams of total carbs three grams of fiber, so that's five net carbs. And I mean, I guess if you're having this as a meal, that makes sense. But you guys, I can never just legitimately have one of these as a meal. Like it is a drink in addition to something else. So if I'm spending five net carbs, I'm, I mean, it's good to have. It's good to have on hand. Next, we have Sun Biotics Organic Gourmet Probiotic Snacks Chocolate Almonds, a light and crispy super snack, ooh. Um, I'm like, hey, I'm excited about this. It just looks like it is chocolate, you know, cocoa dusted almonds and I am here for that. Let's see, there's one and a half servings per bag. That makes no sense, but we're gonna say there are four net carbs per one serving. And so that makes it six net carbs for this entire package, to be honest. I mean, that's not too, too bad. It, it is a good amount of nuts, I guess. It is an ounce and a half, yeah. So, I mean, that's, that's right on par. Oh my gosh, Catalina Crunch. I knew what this was before I even opened it all the way up. Oh, I'm so excited. Catalina, oh, cinnamon toast artisan cereal, what? Uh, when I looked at this, they only had the little cocoa version available. Oh, I hope I like this so much. The only problem is, no matter if I like it or not, the serving size is never big enough. So yeah, 26 grams, no thank you. I'm eating a cup of this 
at least. And for a cup, that's two servings, it'd be 24 total carbs and 10 net carbs. I mean, I consider this like ice cream. Like, go a whole day as low carb as possible and then you can have this as a treat. But like, I hope this tastes good. I've heard things about the texture, like how it puffs apart once you start to chew it, but like, this is probably what I am most excited about so far. What I am not excited about is a meat stick. I saw the meat stick coming. This is Mission Meats original beef stick. Yeah, it doesn't even have a spicy flavor uh, to entice me to try it. I mean, don't get me wrong. Meat sticks are amazing and they're a staple of the keto diet. They're just not my preference. So you know what this means? This goes part of the meat stick extravaganza giveaway. I don't know when that's happening, but you guys, I'm collecting all these meat sticks. And like, they're not gonna expire, right? Like that's the point of a meat stick. Yeah, this one doesn't expire until next year. So I'm definitely having the great meat stick away. That's what I'm calling it. I'm definitely having the great meat stick away before next year. So this gets added to it. Oh, okay, you guys, I love Choco Right, but apparently all these bars are smushed. I have seen a variety of uh, unboxings, even though I have tried to avoid them like the plague. Uh, and all of the yellow cake Choco Right bars are smushed. But here's the label in case you, you know, want to see it. You guys, the, the turtle caramel crunch or whatever that other chocolate version was in the very first keto crate that I bought one of the most delicious things I have ever had. It did spike my blood sugar uh, to all get out. I actually did a testing video of that right here. So uh, you can see that, but like, I love Choco Right as a brand. It is definitely an occasional sweet, um, but this is a Choco Right yellow cake protein bar. From everything that I've seen, I, I haven't had the protein versions of these bars, but for everything I've seen, I'm pretty sure they look like Quest bars, like the consistency, so that like chewy um, type consistency. But if it tastes good, I mean, I'm okay with it. Ugh, 27 total carbs, geez Louise. 22 grams of fiber, yowzer. Uh, and then two grams of erythritol. That makes this whole bar three net carbs, but you know, that's a, that's a lot of stuff in there. Uh, and then finally, this is the culprit making it so heavy. It is milkadamia. It is unsweetened vanilla macadamia milk. Uh, now I see this at the store. I've never bought it before, but I'm actually very excited to try it because macadamias are my favorite nut. So uh, to have a milk made of them and to have a beverage flavored with them sounds like a pretty great idea. I don't really use milk a lot. Maybe they included it. Oh my God, you guys, marketing ploy. Maybe they included it to go together. What? What? Now that's actually quite genius. I was gonna say, I don't really use milk a lot in my everyday diet. Sometimes I will have it with a Bulletproof coffee, but I don't really have those that often. But now that I got some cereal, it's good that I got some milk. So that was pretty smart. Okay guys, and that does it for me. Uh, overall, I'm very excited because this box has a variety of items that I've never tried before, but more importantly, it has items that I've specifically wanted to try, such as the Catalina Crunch, such as these fat snacks. Like, I am very, very pleased with this. What item would you be most excited to try in this month's Keto Crate? Thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate unboxings, and the occasional product review and recipe. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and I'll see you next month.